Okay, what I'm going to show you here real quick is my son and I were out casting and I noticed that his arm was not staying in check and it was flaying around all over the place and make, making him lose control. Now I know that there are <clears throat> uh, casting aids uh, that are uh, to try and help control the uh, wrist. It, it grabs the wrist and the thumb and it only allows so much movement in there. <clears throat> now I know some guys will probably disagree with this, that's okay. Um, I believe that a lot of your casting uh, power if you've got a strong wrist, if they're weepy, wimpy, then maybe you need to have the, the, um, that casting aid and, and really get your arm into it. But if you can learn how to get your snap in your wrist and your timing <clears throat> without having your arm move around too much, of course this is going to restrict, this thing that we've developed here is going to constrict the actual movement of the arm. You're going to see what I'm talking about in a couple of short videos after this one here. <clears throat> what happens when he is allowed to just run his arm however he wants and then you'll see the line how it goes back has a wide loop comes forward wide loop and collapses in front of him um, <clears throat> the video may not be super good watching the line but you will definitely see a little bit of the line but more of the arm and seeing where the uh, where the issue comes in <clears throat> what this strap is that we came up with is it goes around the chest and the and midway on the arm and it it threads in just like you would a belt with a velcro belt it threads in just like this and holds it in place <clears throat> holds his arm in place so that he can't throw his arm way out in front of him <clears throat> like this it keeps him in check so that uh, his arm stays like this and he can learn how to use his wrist a little bit more put snap in that in the rod so that the line stays tight. That's my way of casting. If you have another way, that's fine. I'm not wanting to start an argument here. I just want to let you know that this right here, this training aid right here, has helped him with his casting tremendously. And you'll see it in the next couple of videos where he's casting without and then casting with it. Clock, 11 o'clock, snap, snap, snap. bit more time in the back here. Not that much time. More snap both directions. Bring it up with a snap. There. <clears throat> okay, now if you was able to see what I'm talking about in the control of the arm and where it's going to be. What, what do you think? Did you did you find that you had more control when you had when you had this on or when you didn't have it on? When I had it on. When you had it on, why why is that? Because it kept your arm in check, so that you weren't putting it out too far and losing control of the line. Because when you when you got too much motion in your arm, it causes that line to collapse, and you saw that. Mm -hmm. Right. And then when we put this on, you had less less movement in your arm and more control over the rod and the line. Do you do you agree with that? Yeah. Boy, you're a perfect son. I love it. Thanks for letting these guys know. I think it's a, a, a good training aid. Let me know what you think. If you want them, I might consider letting my wife has a sewing business. She 
uh, custom sews dresses and that sort of thing for kids. Uh, she may be interested in, in doing these training aids um, if you're interested. Just let me know what you think.